What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode in Bacon's World. So, guys, look, I made a couple of changes here. Yeah, I like it better. I, I wasn't feeling all the these things, the dark oak fences. It was too many of them, and it didn't look good over there, so it, I wanted this to line up. So I started decorating the path. Obviously, I have yet to put lighting and stuff in, but I decided just to continue with the dark oak slabs and then do like the same on both sides here because we probably won't have much in this wall. So it, it's a nice little runner path like that. And then I just had it wrap around like that here. And I think I've started and stopped Minecraft too many times because I was getting a little bit of lag there. I probably should have restarted before I hit record, but oh well, it is what it is. So today, guys, you can probably tell by the title, we're going to set up our AFK fish farm. And I worked in creative to compact this. And I actually had to change this wall a little bit to create room. You can see how this isn't as open as it used to be. I killed some of the water sources. And that was to squeeze this in as much as possible, guys. So I do have creative. It's done. We're actually going to have to kind of mirror. Uh, the creative version because we couldn't go out I have most of the redstone on this side and we couldn't go out far enough so we're gonna put it here I'll explain it in pieces but I'll probably end up going into creative to show you eventually just because it'll be easier because we're really squeezing it in tight here guys like really squeezing it in like I needed five blocks out including the center on this side or on one side, six on the other, and then 10 back. So we're gonna go out this way and we're gonna use lava in the floor as our burner. I think that'll be pretty cool. So we're gonna have glass up here so we can see through it. And then a water stream below that. And then we actually want our lava like down below that. So we're gonna go like this and no that's not going to be one two that's not going to be low enough we want one two lava here so right here we're going to place our obsidian just because you know safety first and then we're going to go three down and this is to prevent fire spread guys okay and that's why we're using lava to be honest with you fire would look way cooler but we're gonna use a lot of dark oak in this design like a lot and a lot of spruce and I like living if you know what I mean so yeah we need we need the gap all the way down because fire will spread I think it's like eight blocks up in like this pattern this three by three to any air block with a flammable block adjacent whereas lava only goes uh, one up and one to the side so by taking it there's our one up right it's all solid blocks you see what I mean and then just to be sure I don't bust into this accidentally I'm gonna go down each side this really isn't even safe with haste I shouldn't be doing this with haste guys but naturally I do have to uh, go to the top like dig out to the the sky for this build so I'm leaving haste on for that but I really, I really shouldn't have haste. I'm kind of being a little stupid here. So we're going to go out in each direction here like a so. We'll worry about this side because that's where we're going to have our dropper that goes into this. And I want these like this. Just because I'm a stickler for details. And... 
Arr. I hate that. I should have taken haste off. I knew I should have taken haste off. Oh well. I'll live with it. Saves me having to run back and get iron. Uh, so we're gonna go like this. Is that all the... Where's the, where's the rest of my stuff? There we go. I thought I had enough. I thought I had counted it. I was wrong. So we're going to have glass here. We're going to have a thing here. And then I want that drop just to be extra, extra cautious, guys. Because I, I don't want to watch all the things burn. You know what I mean? So we're going to go one here, one here. No, not there, stupid. And then I'll worry about, like, the rest of the details after the fact. But for now... We're just going to put our dropper in so we can put our water sources. And then I'm actually going to have this here. And we're going to put that there. Jeez. I'm going to have to go shut that off or I'm going to end up burning my face off. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. Because with that there, the lava is low enough. We don't have to worry about a uh, fire spread and then we're gonna go like this in this kind of a pattern star pattern so we can see when our stuff is burning and then we'll have the water like this and of course this floor is gonna come down so we can squeeze the redstone in there that's not important at the moment And we're just going to go on all four sides like this. So that when we look down, we'll be able to see the water. And then what we're going to have is... Where's my slabs? There's my slabs. These surrounding it, like so, where we have the water source, source size. And then... The rest of the area, I think I'm just going to fill in with slabs like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's not as visible. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Or since it's not visible, you know what I mean. God, talk much bacon. Um, Yeah, definitely there and there. And that one will be a full block as well. So I'm going to get the water in quick here I guess well I guess it won't take that long so I can take you with me I got two buckets now let's grab the water here I didn't think it was worth creating crap infinite source for this so we got one there we got one there Bam. Now we should be good to have our fire spread safe. And what we'll have is we'll have this dropper over here. It's going to end up pushing the items we want to ditch down into that lava. So you can see how small the hitbox of that glass pane is. That's going to allow us to do that. Now, I actually don't need any of this here. So I'm not sure why I did that. Over here, we're going to need those ones. We're not going to need these ones. We're going to be running right up against that wall. We're not going to need that or that there either. The spots where we don't need that stuff, we're just going to fill in like so. Okay? Uh, we're going to have little plant stuff and things in these corners. So those won't be visible. So we'll go like so. Now, to the most important part the farm so we are using pandas design what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go like this and put a stair there for a little bit of depth so it's gonna look like so and then we're actually gonna put those there too and i want me well i can't fit some spruce up like that and up like that 
on either side. And then we're going to have... No, we're not going to have that there. Stupid. We're going to have that there. So we got our two block gap in there, right? To work with. Now, down here, we're going to need hoppers. And... Yeah. The hopper won't be visible. We're going to put most of our redstone over here, unlike the iCraft server where I took it out the other way. So we'll put that there for now, just so you guys can see me working on all the things. And then we're actually going to put that there and that there. We're going to want our trapdoor here. Ooh, that's not good. I think we need to put the blocks in place first for me to get it to line up properly. So, I want to use... Uh, what do you call it? I want to use this stuff and things. Yeah this stuff and things and we'll go up one bam bam and since we're doing single player we're not going to need a clock on this is it going to go oh that's going to be a problem guys well I suppose technically not it's just going to look weird I wanted it to go the other way so over here, we're actually going to have our note blocks. And Dang it, Bobby! Like a so. And I want it like that so that everything that's visible is dark oak when we look from in here, right? You can see how... All we're going to see is dark oak from in here. We won't be able to see anything else. That's what I'm going for, guys. I want to see the light. Now, we need our tripwire to run on either side there. But before I can do that, and then we should be able to put the water in. And we're going to have our redstone for this come out just directly like this and I'm actually going to have a repeater go into the note block to set it off as opposed to Panda's design and that's strictly a space thing guys just to uh, just to compact all this and get it to look the way I want I tested and with the repeater it still works fine so I have to dig to the surface before we can get this done. Okay guys, so I got that all the way to the top and I actually shut haste off because it was getting annoying. And then I realized I'm being a complete and utter spoon. Literally, like I kid you not. Um, so let's just go like so. This block's gonna be covered and not visible so I'm not worried about it not like I'm not worried about it having to be oak or anything like that. So we got that repeater back there, right? And then if we run this redstone wire, and then we pop up in here. We put a tripwire hook here and a tripwire hook here. That other tripwire hooks to build a trap chest for something, but now we should be able to put that there. Stick our string there. And what? Why do I keep grabbing the wrong thing today? I think Bacon's having a moment, people. I'm having a moment. That there, yeah. See, we're not going to be able to see squat. We see nothing. So, 
I kind of want some light in there. So I think what we'll do is we're not going to put it there. We're going to grab our glowstone because we need one in this room anyways. You know, we have to have lighting in here. That's like important. So we're going to have one here to light this room. And then just to light the back of that, we're going to come up here and let's remove that one go like that so it's lit from the back and also so it lights up this area back here so we don't have to worry about mob spawning or anything we're gonna put no wait does it yeah a half slab works so we don't have to listen to that. So we'll leave that as so. Now basically we have to worry about getting the hopper out on this side. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this side. And I'm going to show you how I want to decorate it. Basically once this is in it's going to be sealed. Like full on sealed. No way out kind of thing. So I need to make a couple things and I also need to get a hopper stream down. You know how it goes, the ice into our thing. So I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna go down through here and we're gonna have a chest over it that we can access to automatically send stuff over to all our auto sorting system and then over here we'll have where all the stuff comes into so I'll be able to look through the boxes collect what I want drop it in there have it automatically go over and then flick a switch over here which is you're gonna love the way I do it and it'll take whatever's left in the chests here and shoot them into the lava stream so yeah give me a couple I'm gonna get this dug out and set up and then we'll do the rest okay guys so hoppers are running all the way down into you know my usual observer block clock and what we need to do here is this bottom one I want to be a trap chest and then I want regular chests above that facing this way and you'll understand why in a little bit and then what we're actually going to do is we are going to fill this in so that we don't see the stone brick behind it. And we're going to do the same thing up in here. And that's basically it for the redstone guys on that side. Literally. That's it. That's all. Doesn't get any more complicated than that up in here now on this side I want these like so and then we actually need to pull those blocks out there because we want to be able to open that top chest so we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna grab our slabs and go like so so we have a nice little design I'm not worried about lighting or anything up in there now I don't think we need these torches back here because I did decide to put glowstone on all four corners just so it looks good from up top oh no we're gonna need a torch in the far corners it looks like yeah so for each corner of the room we're going to want a torch that's going to be required to keep our light where we need it yeah we're good that way so from this point here really we can close this off and i want to do that by having this here and we're gonna throw 
Hey, you know what? We're we're gonna throw nothing there. Do do do. We need these bad boys right up in here, and we'll grab another stack of the sprucey goodness, and then just convert that into blocks. And then what I want on these ends is we're gonna go like this, and it's gonna be the same for all four corners, and then. Oh, maybe I am. No, I won't need a block. We're going to take these stairs are going to wrap all the way around like this. Ah, oh, crap. I am going to need a block there. Because on this side, what I would like to do, so we'll stick a block there just to give the ability is go like that and that. And we're going to finish off our corners like that that in each spot so over here same thing we're gonna take this we're gonna go BAM and over here this needs to actually come out and go back one so we can get that in there then we're gonna put this there we'll have guess we need to put that block in there so we can do the same thing on this corner like so which means I can't remember if I put that down one or if I just connected it there we'll see no I do have to have that up there because what we're gonna have up in here to connect these I don't even know if I have some yes I do is we're gonna go like so we're gonna have these closed off like that all the way down just to make it look good and then in each of these corners we're gonna actually have little trees so that's pretty much what the decorations gonna be like but then we need to take it a step further from there and make it even more pimplicious. Let's just grab some of that spruce. By sneaking our redstone in, in this area as well. It's gonna look awesome, guys. Trust me when I tell you it's gonna look awesome. Now we're also in this corner gonna have these like so and I'm going to wait this corner will be identical to these but I'm gonna wait until we're like done before I worry about that because we want to get in and get the redstone done then to complement that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. And that'll be our lighting. And then you'll see this corner I'll finish off like that too. But before we do that, we're gonna need, oh, I love making chest. Chesticles, chesticles. We're gonna need a whole whack of chesticles. More than that, even. So over here, what I want to see, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have them run from the top, only we're going to stagger them. Like this. Um, and I might need to change the orientation so one side goes from the other and vice versa. Obviously, up here, we're going to have to do that same thing. Do I have? I do have slaps. So we're going to go up and we'll put slab here because we're not going to be able to see it, I believe. 
and slab there, like so, so we can still access that chest. And I might change that to a wood slab if I think I can see it, but I'm pretty sure once I get a trap door in there, that won't be visible. So not too worried about it at the moment. But what we're actually going to do with these, where did I put my hoppers? Is we're going to have them go like so. And no. No, stupid. Like so. And like so. And then down here we need to get a clock into this thing so it can fire off as needed we're gonna have it go like that now this thing right here our clocks gonna run out from that how are we gonna get a source this is where our trees gonna be we're gonna use item frames that's going to be the cool little trick because what you're going to see is let's go grab those item frames okay I can put item frames all the way around here and we can use them for decoration right and we're going to put our fishing rods on here and you can see if I put an item there no signal but as soon as i put an item in here we got a signal and that's the mechanic we're going to use to get this whole thing going so we're going to need a block there and i'm actually thinking about this i do have this wrong because we need a torch there somehow, so I screwed this up. I'm not sure how, guys, but I screwed it up, so I think I'm going to have to go into creative and just double check how I had that configured. So I'll finish that, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is how we're squeezing this in underneath here. There's our, our dropper into the water stream, comparator out, torch, redstone the usual observer clock into a piece of dust into that good to go that's it that's all i can actually take these out if i'd like and replace them like so because really i just need these around here right so let's uh let's go like this a witching and get that filled in now what we need to do is we need to have hopper here bam going into there and yes that dust will pulse that but it's not the end of the world guys it's not gonna affect it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna as usual go like so just to kind of protect that. We've got the lighting back here we need. Now, the tricky part. Okay, redstone dust into here, right? That torch is on by default. And I'll put that there, that there, and that there, I think, just to protect that. Keep that, so that torch is on, this is locked, which means all these can fill up, right? And that'll be the state as long as our fishing rod is in place. Now, I also decided I don't even want to risk it. Let's get that in place there. Lift those up and get that there. Because what I also want behind this is actually let's change that up instead of it being glass 
I want like so, and then I want a stair here to hide that end. And then I don't even care up in here. We'll put a torch. But that'll just keep all our redstone protected. Which I'm happy about. And then on this side as well. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill that in. And then we're going to fill this in. All the way down so that we don't see it because to me that's important is I want to keep that mast so it's not really visible from the other side um let's just spare no expense and go like that so we don't even have to worry about that section and then we're gonna do the same thing here that should keep us from seeing anything. Like we're still gonna see the hoppers. I don't like that. Oh, that's the hopper. Yeah, that is the hopper we're seeing, right? See, I don't even like how we can see via that glass there. It's getting on my nerves a bit. So we're actually gonna replace that like so, just so we see even less of that. And then we'll glass in. That I'm okay with. Because this is late game, guys. We want it to be the beautifuls. We do want it to be the beautifuls. So we're going to need a block up there, right? Just to kind of wedge that in. And then we want our spruce like so. The downside to the way we designed this is... If I ever need to get back in here for maintenance, I am gonna have to break blocks, which I usually try and avoid doing. But this should be pretty maintenance free. So I'm not overly worried about it. Then we can go like that, and bam, to complete our pattern. We need to pull that out there. And I think, yes. Yeah, like so. And then let's just get these in place. Oh, it looks so good already. I love it. And then bang, bang. We've got all our item frames. Then what we need, guys, is let's get rid of some of this junk. We need a metric butt ton of these. We'll just make them all. Screw it, we'll make them all. We want one there, one there, one there, like so, and the same thing over here, there. That's that part of the design done. Now all we need is some fishing rods and we're pretty much good to go. Let's see how that looks now from up in here. I wanna see if I wanna add another. I think I might wanna add another door, believe it or not. Just to kind of have that look go all the way back. Now I don't know if I left one here or not doesn't look like it so I'm gonna get that and I am going to actually craft up some fishing rods so the way this is gonna work is as long as my fishing rod for fishing is there you can see that we're hearing items go through and I hate wasting stone here, let's see if we got a junk block. Do we have a junk block? Um, so if we take some of this diorite and put it in there, we can see how it's scrapping it. But 
as soon as I take that off, so while we're fishing, you can see stuff stays in the chest just fine. So what, when I'm done an AFK session, I can come over here and I can start at the top and pull all the goodies I want out and come over here and dump them in here like we're gonna do with this diorite right now we'll see it's trapped so I go like that but then I close and it goes off to our stored storage system the rest of these are really just in here for looks but I can store extra books say I'm not sure I want to keep that kind of stuff in there right so we need fishing rods to make this look all pretty fied that's not what I meant to do. That one's going to go there. And we basically lock these hoppers by grabbing our fish rod to fish away. So I'm going to finish prettying this up. I'll be our bees. Oh yeah, guys. Awesome. So you noticed the redstone was much simpler. We skipped the clock because it is a single player world. That it did allow us to make it a little more compact I'm happy I took some levels and just you know threw a cheap enchant on several of these so you wouldn't be able to tell without knowing which one will activate the system right I am a little concerned oh ha ha I'm a moron. Did I mention that if you want this to work, you should actually probably connect the hoppers? Okay, I can't believe I forgot that part. I'm such a derp. So I've just got the hoppers running out this way and then over here and then into there. Okay, and then there's a redstone dust underneath that with an observer facing it, detecting it, comparator here, you know, powering that block, there's our observer clock into this block, which will fire the redstone, which will fire that, another observer, redstone dust, bam, tower done, we're good to go. Now, I'm actually going to go like so, just to, you know, prevent any unnecessary um, checking of the hoppers or things falling into the hoppers or all that good stuff and then we can put that back we can go bam bam and now put our unbreakings back wow and we should find yes so as long as I've got my fishing rod in my inventory, that stuff will be there. I put that door there, so we've got our perfect AFK spot. And uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm actually going to make use of this thing and uh, see what kind of goodies we'll come up with. Wouldn't mind the extra name tags and, you know, maybe some mending books if I get them too. So... As always, guys, smash that like if you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe for more videos, peeps. See you later in the week. Thanks for watching. Bye.